Hey guys, it's Reed. I wanted to let you know we got the 2025 Palisade and this is it right here. So uh, really not seeing much of a difference between the 2025 and the 2024. This one looks to be black. This is a calligraphy trim. Got a lot of people out here. This is a busy, uh, busy dealership today. End of the month. That's an H track. That's an all wheel drive system. And we're looking at, let me show you the interior, 54, 925. We got the beige interior, so we got the light interior. You get a choice of the light or the dark interior. But you know, looking at this, this just came in and I just did a video on the 2025 Tucson, but uh, they've kept the screen the same. They did not change this for 25. So it's gonna be 26 when they're gonna be doing that major change. Now, they did an upgrade a couple years ago and it was a really nice upgrade. And that's where they kind of took the uh, the daytime running lights out to the end, kind of like an Escalade. But this is a really, really nice, I've sold 18 cars this month. And out of those, I've sold, I think a couple Palisades and people do love these, all new on the Palisades. But uh, end of the month here, the 31st. But anyway, I just wanted to show you all this. It's the same as the 24. So let me report that to y'all. This is Reed, of course, over at Reed's Rides in Edwards Hyundai. But it uh, looks to be identical for the 20, 25 years, just a carryover. So I don't see any differences that I can see uh, between the 24 and the 25, just so you know. And this is a black price 54 it's around the same price so we're looking at around the same price the interior looks identical everything looks identical to me trying to see if i see any difference between this 25 and the 24 and i do not so they're carrying this over kind of like the elantra n i ordered the 25 model this is going to be the same as the 24 so they do that when they do these uh changes and they're probably getting ready for 26 and probably going to come out with a hybrid version of the uh, Palisade. But the wheels, the calligraphy wheels, and you can see this is right off the truck. It has the plastic on it all the way around. Let me look under the hood and see if there's any difference there. This is a plastic. This stuff just peels off here. So it's got black underneath, but the detail shop takes care of that. Okay, we've got the we do have the massaging seats, the same great seats. And again, this has been a wonderful, here's the, this has been a great vehicle. Ladies like this because it has that open area. If you have a small purse, you could put it down there. And this is a shift by wire, which is a smooth transmission. We don't have all that gear linkage running down there. Really nice. And this is, just so you know, Abyss Black with the light beige. Let me open this up, this here. And this does have shocks. So exact same engine. So we're looking at the gas direct injected engine on this. And what's so great about this, this, this 3.8 has been out for a long time. This will tow 5,000 pounds. The only thing you really have to do with Hyundai, cause you know, you get three year 36,000 miles of uh, scheduled maintenance is just pour some washer fluid in here. And you can get that at Walmart or any place. You don't have to do anything with the coolant. Um, if you ever had to change the air, the uh, filter, let me show you how to do that on this video. Very, very simple. You don't have to pay $100 to a shop. You just flip this over, flip this down. This is your air filter for the engine. Pull it out. That's it. That is it. Buy these. They're probably, you know, buy, them by Hyundai. They're probably $30, $40. You can get that from the parts department. You just buy it. And basically, you just lay it in, drops in. You can see it just dropped in. Flip this up on both sides, right here and right here. See these flip down and up and close it. Anybody can do that. So it's, it's simple to change your air filter. So now you know how to change your air filter if you have one of these. Gas direct injected, great engine, 3.8. Right at almost 300 horsepower. I think you're about two, 296, something like that. Now what they did in 23 is they came out and they did the, the daytime running lights on the outside. So you can see they went to a squared off grill. I think that was 23. And they, they went to a squared off grill. The daytime running lights, which are what these are called, these are daytime running lights, they stay on too. I'll tell you something nice about Hyundai is when you hit your blinker, your blinkers are up here. 
And when you hit your blinker, the blinkers are high, the headlights are low. What that means is this is not blinding people. And these are LED blink, uh, headlights, high and low. But these are your blinkers, so they're very visible. But these stay on all the time. Like Audi, when you hit that, these would go off um, on an Audi if you look. But anyway, just more visible. You've got, got those daytime running lights, uh, keep it more visible. But uh, they went to a squared off grill. Now it used to, the daytime running lights used to run like this down through here. You'll see that on some of the older ones, 22s and, and uh, back. But anyway, I just wanted to uh, show y'all, so I'm not seeing any changes on the 25 um, model. And uh, let me just walk over here, I'm just curious. This is probably a 24. It is a 24, and this is a uh, limited though, but you can see even on the limited, very similar, it's a 24 and the other is a 25. They just didn't do any changes really. So anyway, this is the luxury version, the calligraphy trim. Let me look back here. Yep. And of course, on the calligraphy, we have power right here. We have the power folding seats, which is very nice. You have USB-Cs back here for the third row. And I have a video on this thing. This thing can get all bunched up. This this particular thing, and you find these on the Palisades. And watch my, go, and you'll find my video on this. I showed you how to keep it from bunching up down here. Simple. And uh, I just figured it out and put it on a quick video. A little short two-minute video, and it'll save you a lot of headache. But here's the third row. So same, same great third row. And so basically, this is a seven-seater. Um, unlike the uh, Santa Fe, is really a six-seater, but the seats are uh, very comfortable like this. Okay, so we can take it back down, and you could do 60-40. You could take one side down, one side up. Now, this is a brand new vehicle. It hasn't even been through the... And this will just stick to that when they do that. Let's see what else we got. We've probably got a reversible tray. We do. So this is a carpeted mat. They call this a mat or a tray and you can reverse it and have the rubber side like at the beach or something this one has uh wheel locks you never want to lose these because these are the bolts they took off and that's your key so you want to make sure if you get one you have that even has a place to store your screen that you would pull here but remember this is going to have this will this is how you drop your tire if you want to know you you wouldn't do it. You would push SOS up there or the uh, blue link button, which is for as long as you're on the vehicle on 24s or 25s. And you just rotate this, the tire will drop down. And then you, uh, that's where your tire is, your spare tire, if you wanted to know. And these can be adjusted, by the way. This is your standard height. I could pull this down. See how I'm pulling that down? If someone was shorter, hold this for three seconds. It beeped three times. Now it will stay and go to that height. So you can adjust the, uh, the height on the, on the back very simply. Let me hit that and I'll show you. It'll go up to that height that I just set it at. And that's nice if someone needs it at a lower height. Now I'm gonna push it back up and hold it for three seconds. And now it'll stay at that height. Very simple way to adjust on the Hondas. Of course your gas, you just push it. When the car is locked, though, you can't. So uh, that's how that works. Well, listen, y'all have a wonderful day. Didn't want to take the video out too long, but I did want to show y'all some of the different features and also show you the 25 and let you know there is no, no change between 24 and 25. So if you're waiting to get a 25 and, uh, and you were looking at a 24, go ahead and get the 24. It's going to be the same, unless there's, if there's some big rebates on the 24. Take care now. This is Reed over at Reed's Rides and Ed Bulls Hyundai. Y'all have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.